Welcome back to this year's CES, where the show floor is absolutely covered with remarkable concept cars. But while most of them look amazing, since they're all electric, they won't necessarily sound so amazing. In fact, they probably won't sound like anything at all. But one company wants to put sound first. FPT Industrial is launching a collaboration with an icon. I'm really pleased to welcome to the stage FPT CEO Annalisa Stupinengo and music legend, the father of disco, and the man behind many iconic movie scores, including Fast Dance and Top Gun, Giorgio Mortar. Thank you very much for being with us here today. Giorgio, I want to talk about the sound. We're going to play the sound in a little bit. It's making its debut here at CES. But I want to talk about how did this project come to be? How did you get to be working with FBT? And what's the idea behind creating the sound? Well, Annalisa, who is a genius, who is one of the creators, actually, of, of this wonderful engine. And th this engine is silent. So it, it's electric and it's with the hydrogen. So they wanted to have a sound where, where there is no sound. Mm. And the idea is you start the engine, you start the car, and you hear and you know, first of all, the engine works. Second, you feel Important. safe and mm. let's go. Now, Annalisa, can you maybe explain what FPT Industrial is? Because that's a brand that maybe some Americans here at CS might not be familiar with. Yeah, for sure. Uh, we are producing, we are one of the uh, biggest producers of uh, industrial engine, powertrain, axle, and transmission as well. And um, really, we, we were one of the first uh, to innovate and to introduce new technologies in the industrial application. And so doing this is our DNA. We wanted really to do also for the future and be more and more sustainable and green our uh, power gen uh, and uh, power source. We wanted really to be sure that everybody, especially our customer, we recognize that the FPT was still inside. And this is why we ask Giorgio to give a sound and a soul to our engines. And that's a really interesting idea because it's really the sound of an engine that helps to create that emotional response. And Giorgio, how important is sound when you, you, know, when you turn a car over, when you start the engine? How important is that? And, and is it, this is basically helping to fill that gap in electric motion? I, I think it's very important because I have an electric car and if I don't use it for like a week, uh -huh. I start and oh God, it's not working again. So this gives you the feel it's working and, and uh, it's great. And I have to ask, what kind of electric car do you have? Sorry? I have to ask, what kind of electric car I do you have? I have the Fusion. Really? It's one of the first ones and I'm very happy with it. That's great. So uh, before we play this electric sound, I want to get your sound, Giorgio, on some of the other electric car sounds that are out there on the market right now because there are a lot of EVs in the market now and they all kind of make some sort of noise. So I want to play a few for you, Giorgio, if you don't mind, and get your thoughts on those before we play your sound. That's okay? Okay. So if we're ready, let's play number one. So what does that make you think? Well, this, may be, this is the sound of the engine outside, right, when you drive. Right. For now, we only have the, that sound start, starting the mm. engine inside. Mm -hmm. I guess we're going to work in the future how it's going to sound. Uh, you have to have a, a sound with the electric one, right? Absolutely. This is quite good. Actually, I was involved with Tron. Yes. Quite a lot. I uh -huh. did. I did the games of Tron, and so uh, this is quite good. But I have some other ideas too. I'm going to play a few more for you. The, okay. This next one's a little bit more sporty. That, by the way, was the Audi e-tron. If anyone's keeping score at home, let's play number two. Maybe a little bit sportier. It's it's quite good actually. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm not telling you what I would do, but okay. I'm, I'm happy to hear. <laughs> Very diplomatic of you. All right, and uh, number three now. I must say they're very similar, uh, yeah, they all are. three. There's, I wouldn't know if it's a Volkswagen <laughs> Jaguar. It was a Volkswagen. I think you're reading the teleprompter. And that was a Volkswagen ID3. Number two, by the way, was the Jaguar I-Pace. We've yeah. got one more uh, future car sound that I want to play for you. I think Annalisa recognized that one. It's the Jetson car. <laughs> Which one is it? It's a, it's a, it's a cartoon. It, it's the flying car from the, from the Jetsons cartoon. Oh, okay. Well, 
I think the sound should be from low up. A little too high pitched for you. Yeah, you know, when bass. it goes down, it, it means that the engine is not working. Giorgio right? wants more bass. So I can appreciate that for sure. All right, so we've played those sounds, uh, and now I think it's time. Are, are we ready to, to, to play the debut of, of your sound that we're, we're launching here at CES? Just, just a three, four seconds, right? Yes, yeah. yep, just a few seconds. Are we yep. ready? Okay. All right, let's play the sound that every vehicle with FBT Technologies engines will play. Very different. Yeah, short, but uh, that, that's what we need. Uh, the, I, I don't think the guy who starts the engine wants to hear it for more than <laughs> three seconds. But uh, I extended, which I'm a specialist extending songs, yep. right? I extended those four seconds into a four minute song called the Preludio. Preludio means ready to go. And uh, I don't know if you play tonight, today, but uh, but you're going to hear it soon. Every we we are on on Spotify, and uh, everybody who wants to hear it, go into Spotify. FPT Preludio. And you've also created a playlist of other songs that you think are also important for driving as well. That's also on Spotify, right? You've also created a playlist of other songs as well to go along with that too, right? On Spotify, you have the yes. Of yeah. Course. The, there's, there's also a playlist that you can go on, on there and check out some other songs as well that are worth playing too. So, and there's also a video about the creation that you guys have put together. And Annalise, I want to ask you, is, will this be on every vehicle that FBT creates or of produces course. going forward? Because it will be really the way in which uh, all our customers will recognize uh, all around the world, uh, whatever the application will be, that uh, FPT with Giorgio will be inside uh, and will be protect them and guarantee the performances. And how many vehicles are we talking about then? Oh, considering that uh, Nowadays, we are producing more than 600,000 engines per year. Wow. I assume that millions of cars uh, and uh, vehicles all around the world uh, will be equipped with that. So I'm very excited because she promised if it's in every engine, in 10 years it's going to be billions. <laughs> billions. <laughs> so I may be the first one. You're well, going to win maybe not the an, first one, a but one of award. the billion sound uh, guys. So how do you track this against your album sales and before you? How, how do you rate this against you know, your, your success of everything else that's come before? Well, uh, th this is much bigger. This is really? much Yeah, because, the, see, if, if you have that engine, that car, you start every day. So uh, like you start three, four times mm -hmm. a day. So at the end of a year, 600 engines, six by seven is, is a ton. And then in the next 10 years, it's in, in the billions. It, it maybe sounds a bit far-fetched, but Brian Eno was brought on to make the startup sound for Windows, and that's a sound that is absolutely iconic now. Uh, so there's definitely precedent here for this sort of sound, this sort of music, to really have a big impact on people's lives and to really create an emotional impact and tie to these machines. Well, I, I think it's great because you start and, and you feel, okay, we're ready to go. Mm -hmm. and, and I think, especially with the electric one, that gives you that feel. Uh, the engine is working, and, and let's go. Now, I want to get your thoughts on the current music industry, of course, because you're such an icon. What do you think about the current status of the music industry when it comes to streaming distribution versus traditional record sales? Is that making it easier for a new artists to break in, or is it even harder to kind of rise above at this point? Well, it, it's, I, I think it's a little harder because the competition is so big. You have to be really, you have to be talented, you have to be smart uh, with the, 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 the media. If you're... It, if, because there, there are 100,000 of, of songs and stuff coming out almost, al almost daily. Yeah. So to, to be noticed, uh, you have to be, it has to be a combination of, of a good song, uh, good, good story, good uh, environment, good uh, media. So it's, it's tough, but it wasn't easier. 20 years ago, <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot of work. And when it comes to the, that combination of talent and story, that's a great thing that you bring together in spades. And that was a big thing that was brought to a new generation, thanks to Daft Punk, of course, with the Random Access Memories. Basically, almost telling your your history in an album. W what has that done for your career? The, the, the release of that album. Well, actually, I when the album came out, I was asked if I wanted to do a, D, a D, become a DJ. And uh, I was asked a hundred times before, but I said, no, no, I, I'm not a DJ, I'm a composer, <laughs> I'm a serious person. 
And then I liked it. So I did for several years, I did some small clubs. Uh, I did 50,000 people in London, the Hyde Park. And, uh, and finally, I used to be in the back ground, you know, with Donna Summer and mm -hmm. I was in the studio. Now I'm out there, I'm the, the artist and I play my songs. Now, we mentioned before that you've done a lot of amazing work when it comes to music soundtracks over the years. Top Gun being one of the most iconic movie soundtracks of all time. And you're working on Danger Zone and Take My Breath Away, which are two of the most iconic movie songs of all time. Uh, are you involved in the new Top Gun soundtrack at all? Um, yeah, I met Tom Cruise a, about six months ago and um, I finally have to say, okay, I'm going to work. So I'm back in Los Angeles now from Italy because we've spent a lot of time in Italy. Uh, I'm back and I definitely want to do something. We hope you do. That sounds like that could be a pretty awesome project. Of all the soundtracks that you worked on, is there one that kind of stands out in your mind as, uh, as a favorite? Uh, well, I, I must say Midnight Express is probably really? not, maybe not the best, but was my first one and, and my first Oscar. So maybe that's the one I like best. Now, have you been to CES before? Is this your first time? Yeah, several times. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, yeah. I kind of could tell that you were a pro because when we met back there, you didn't give me a handshake. You gave me the fist bump, which, which means that you don't want to get well, sick. Well, actually, it's because I broke my finger. Oh, okay. <laughs> But I like it. <laughs> <laughs> a second explanation. That's fine. But, but have you seen anything cool on the show floor? Anything te from a music technology standpoint? No, we anything? just came in uh, yesterday afternoon. We had a, a rehearsal. We had some interviews. And we're here, and now we have uh, the presentation, and then I may do the tour of the house, or of Las Vegas, actually. I wanted to get your thoughts on HD audio, because that's one of the, one of the trends we're seeing here at the show this year, is basically bringing higher quality audio to, to, to the market. We're seeing most consumers tend to prefer convenience over quality. Do you think that HD audio is an important thing for the well, industry? I, I don't know about the 8K, which I, I hear now it's on, on YouTube. Mm. Uh, but I remember Sony presented me with the, the H, uh, the, and they did some remixes of Donna Summer, and it sounds absolutely incredible. But you know, on the other hand, you have probably about 80 megabytes. Who has the possibility of play 80 megabytes on, on, on a... On a plus you, you need great speakers, great amplifiers. You cannot really distinguish a difference on, 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 a, on an iPhone. Yeah, it's a bit, bit of a different consumption experience. So, Annalisa, when will this uh, sound be deployed in vehicles? When will it start to hit the road? When will people start to hear the sound when they hit the start button? Yeah. You said when? How, how soon until people start to hear the sound when they start up your engines? I, I think that it will, be, will become a very soon very familiar and that they will be used to, to hear this music because at the end there will be music and uh, will be really a translation in music of uh, how uh, the passion of all the engineers that have been working uh, in order to realize those. So, will be great. So, are, are we expecting this, to hear that this year in vehicles or maybe um, next year? Probably yes, probably yes. Probably because yes. Has been, uh, we will start immediately to have uh, all our uh, equipment already with this, uh, starting from the ones that are in development uh, and then uh, we are looking for the very first customer to launch. Well, CES is a very good place to find some customers. Giorgio, anything else that you want to promote? Any projects coming up? I'm uh, not finishing, but starting. I'm half through with a musical with my own, all my music called I Feel Love. Okay. I work with, uh, with an incredible, great group in England, uh, Duran Duran. Mm. I finish uh, three songs in, uh, probably in February. I have another project which I'm working. I hope I work with uh, Top Gun number two. We do too. And um, you know, I always come up with ideas. So I'm, I'm not ready to to, to <laughs> retire yet. A lot of irons in the fire. Great. Thank you very much, both of you, for joining us.